All right, this is just a quick rundown with regards to my uh, motor that wasn't driving the spool for my MIG welder. I had a problem with it, it wasn't driving at all. The wheel wasn't turning once I pulled it out from the inside. So I had a look on the inside and this particular wheel wasn't turning even when it was uh, not under load. Uh, so I removed the spool and had a look. The wheel still didn't turn. I've pulled it apart, pulled the cover off. There's actually small uh, torque head screws. So it's one of the torque heads. So there's a number of those around the side and on and on both sides. So you need to pull all of those out quite straightforward. And then in taking the cover off, I'll just take the cover off, taking the cover off, pretty straightforward. Um, so I gave it a bit of a blowout with compressed air and came to the motor. The motor wasn't turning and the, the little um, fan inside wasn't turning. So this particular wheel drives on the other side and this is the motor. The motor I actually checked $383 retail price from uh, Kempi who were really helpful down in Sydney. Uh, so I thought I'd pull it apart and see if I could give it a bit of a clean. So with that I gave it a blowout, try to keep everything as compact as possible and now I've got it together. I've given this a spray with uh, Inox MX3 which is great for different things. I've blown it out again, blown out the motor and now the particular wheel is working and it's driving as it should. So quite a quick fix, um, easy enough considering it probably would have cost me a few hundred dollars to get that looked at. Uh, I was quoted $143 just for them to open it up and another probably $400 to replace the motor. So there you go. Hopefully this helps somebody with regards to their uh, Kempi. And I have heard that these motors are quite a generic item in the Kempi range and they are still available even though this particular machine was uh, obsolete in 2011. So I'll put this back together now and get back to welding. Hope this helps somebody.